Good evening, pussies, and welcome back to Therapist. Today is Bejeweled's belated birthday extravaganza, which means we are celebrating the one, the only Bejeweled's birthday, a.k.a. we have the Vampire Diaries garb all around the town. We're fanging. I have my cloak on. We have blood bags that we're going to be drinking from. We are so, so excited, and we've been waiting on Bajulia for a little bit, but she's finally here, and I'm so excited to get into the Tell Me What's Wrongs this week. We have some birthday-related Tell Me What's Wrongs and some vampire-related Tell Me What's Wrongs, which are going to be amazing. The reason I'm calling this Bajulia's belated birthday extravaganza is because while today is, in fact, her birthday, this will not air on her birthday. And that's just how the cookie crumbles. Before we get into Bejulia, let me just tell you how my day was. My day was definitely tense down, and I feel bad complaining, but I had the same thing for lunch that I had yesterday because I just don't know when to fucking quit. And it didn't hit the same. I had too much rice, which I never thought those words would leave my mouth, but they just did. I had too much rice, so I felt a little bit like a monster. Um, And I definitely had a PFH, post-food headache, after, and it just kind of tarnished my day. I don't really know what to tell you guys. So I would say today was tense down, but obviously we're celebrating Julia's birthday, so it's about to be tense the fuck up, and I'm pumped for it. Remember to go to PassThatPuss.com, click Tell Me What's Wrong, and Tell Me What's Wrong. Names are encouraged, but not required, and you can make them as short or as long as your tentacles desire. And without further ado, here is the queen vampire herself, Bajulia Bamervis. Happy birthday. Hi. Happy birthday. Thanks, she. It's your birthday. Should we cheers blood? Mm-hmm. Is, it, is mine open? No, wait. We have to take our little blood protector off. Okay, so one thing about me is I can't do anything. And one thing about you is you need to put the mic closer to your face or else no one's going to hear a single word okay, out of your no, mouth. No. Literally, how do you do this? It's easy for you to say you have a stand. Honestly, yours is hard. Wait, fuck. I'm addicted to my cloak. Cheers! Mm. Nothing beats real human blood. Mm, refreshing. Um, okay, so what were we going to get into first? Oh, I was thinking about introducing this new segment called Therapist, where we talk about something we're pissed off about. We're pissed off about. So what are you pissed off about? And I know your birthday week should be filled with sunshine and rainbows and blood, but... You know, that's not always the case. So what's something you're pissed off about? Can I tell you what I'm pissed off about? Sure, go. And, like, this isn't that good. But I'll tell you what I'm pissed off about. What? I haven't really been feeling my birthday this year. (sighs) And, no, and I'll tell you We've celebrated. Before this bitch gets into her not feeling her birthday, we've celebrated. Okay, so we went out for her birthday Saturday, which we call Corn Day. Not because Capricorn season starts on Saturday, but because she is a Capricorn. So Friday was Corn Eve, <laughs> in which we all had to sit at the TV. And wh- what did we watch? It was Corn Eve. We watched... Um... Corn Eve, not oh, because... The, no, the... what did we watch? Glee. Glee. We watched Glee for Corn Eve. Mm-hmm. And then on Corn Day... We went out. No, we watched the finale of The Vampire Diaries. Oh, we watched the finale of The Vampire Diaries. That we did, which explains our recent infatuation. And then on Corn Day, we went out for her actual birthday. And then um, AC, after Corn, which was Sunday, we spent the entire day together. And then I was like, okay, Julia, like, I'm really tired. And she said, no, you're not. Um, It's after Corn, and you're coming with me to Sugarfish. So then we went there. And then tonight is also... Corn Eve. Eve part two because t- wait no <gasps> it's my birthday okay, last <laughs> night was corn Eve. <laughs> last night was corn Eve. would you would you look at us differently if we've said we've been lying this entire episode and today is okay, not actually I, her birthday I, I, need, I need to get comfy with my cloak we've been lying this entire i'm just realizing what corn it is capricorn, capricorn. I was so confused. look at this look at me in my cloak are you comfy yes yeah, super comfy much um, more comfy so i guess last night was also i mean are I, we lying or are we telling the truth? I think we need to tell the truth. Okay, to, it's not my birthday, you guys. Tomorrow's her birthday, <laughs> but I just thought like it would make more sense like if today was her birthday. Once but upon a corn eve. Once upon a corn eve. So tonight's the real corn eve because tomorrow's my birthday. Right. Even though we did corn eve. So back to why I'm pissed. Okay. And you might say we've celebrated me a million times, but I didn't really like 
can you admit that like this year compared to other years, I'm not your really birthday th- last year was the best thing that's ever happened to ever. Me. But anyways, I'm not really feeling it this year, and I'm. It's because like I feel like 24 is such an insignificant age. And 23 is more significant? No, but it's just, like, I feel like I'm waiting was to your, 25. It was your post-grad. I get it. And, like, my birthdays in college, like, weren't really that fun. Oh, my God. That brings up our first segment, Besides Therapist, that I've been so excited to talk about. Best and worst college birthdays. I didn't really have a good college birthday. Okay, but you need to find one. Okay. TTT. Do you want me to go first? Yeah. Okay. My worst college birthday. I was supposed to be my best. I knew everyone was planning a surprise party for me because that's what I do every year. Oh my God, my eye is burning. Why? I think I got garlic in it. Someone, I was in the street and someone saw me. <laughs> and, <laughs> and I was feeding and... Um, no, wait. What? Vampires hate garlic. Yeah, but not in this way. Okay, well, it was vervain. I think I have some vervain in my eye. But um, my worst birthday was supposed to be my best. Uh, everyone was planning a surprise party for me. One thing about me is I'm not planning my own birthday. Everyone's planning it for me. It's just who I am as a person. And I was going to be sick. Julia, Brett, and Trudy were taking me out to dinner. And then we were going back to Trudy's apartment where everyone was going to surprise me. Only we had a little hiccup along the way. Well... So we had to get tested every week on campus for COVID. This was like the tail end of COVID, so I really don't want to hear it, okay? Like, we wanted to go out. (laughs) We were going out. It was 2021. The vaccine existed. It was 2021, yeah. The vaccine existed. Like, I won't hear it. Like, I am so traumatized from everyone getting absolutely obliterated for, like, seeing their grandma during COVID. Mm -hmm. I could go Anyways, we had to get tested weekly for school. We would have to, like, go and spit into these tubes and then, like, submit it. And then we would get an email and, like, our test results would come back. And I got a notification at the, at the dinner table dinner for my birthday that my test results came back. And I don't know what possessed me to, like, just check it because I wasn't feeling I, w- s- I wish she had it. I wasn't feeling sick or anything. But I got – I checked my results and it said I had COVID. And so she went outside. She started hysterically sobbing because, like, one thing about Julia is she's not handling crisis well. And she kept saying, I've ruined your birthday. And I said, yes, you have. <laughs> yes, you have. But it's not your fault. So what we tried I, to do was no, lie. No, what no, we no, tried no, to no. do. I called, I called Peyton. No, because I said to Julia, I said, you cannot tell anyone you have COVID or else no one will want to go out with me for my birthday. And I just need you to go home and say something happened. So what we're going to say is we're going to say that on, is this horrible? We can tell this story, right? I think so. Can we tell this story? On the page, we were going to say <laughs> that it said that error. It said error. <laughs> And we called Peyton, and Julia was hysterically sobbing into the phone. It said error, and Peyton being Peyton was like, I'm confused. Like, so you can still come out. You don't have COVID. It's just a mistake. And then <laughs> Julia goes, I have – it didn't say error. <laughs> I said, stop lying. Like, we need to stop. Like, I Pey- Peyton was our guinea pig, and, like, it didn't it didn't work with her because everyone was already confused as to why Julia was hysterically sobbing over an error message. <laughs> so we sent Julia home. <laughs> Also, my second worst birthday was, I guess I had a lot of bad birthdays in college, was when um, Lambda wouldn't let me into their tailgate, and I hysterically cried. Hysterically. I don't remember that. You don't remember that? It was horrible. And then um, my best birthday. Oh, sophomore year. What did we do sophomore year? We went to Katie's house, and she threw me a surprise party. Go figure. And um, that was the worst night of my life. Yeah, but that was the best night of my life because we blacked out together. That was the worst night of my life. Okay, well, I had a lot of fun on that night. Um, I was thrown in. I, oh my god, actually, like, like no, I, I don't know. On. Okay, what was your best and worst birthdays in college? My worst. J and V. They were all pretty bad. Like my birthday was always during rush, so like I wasn't allowed to do anything. Mm-hmm. Like I was just like I. I didn't really, I wasn't able to celebrate my actual birthday. never, you never were. And then, like, everyone was tired. No one wanted to go out or celebrate you. Because we were tired. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) I didn't mean it like that. No, but, like, seriously, (laughs) dead ass. Like, it was just never But, like, go figure, because she has the best birthday now. So then, last year, Jake literally gave me the best birthday surprise But what was your worst birthday in college? Like, out of all. Probably freshman year. Tell him about it. Like, I ordered John and Vinny's for, like, 30 girls. <laughs> it was freezing. Cold to the touch. And it was... 
and she ate it on the roof. T T T T. It was freezing, and Julia was just miserable and ugly. I was miserable. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, oh, girl. So John and Vinny's was definitely her worst birthday. And then my best. Oh my god! And I didn't even go. Why? Oh, you I was rush? rushing. <laughs> Guys, I tried to rush a frat. And um, do you want to know what they did? No, you have to tell them the story of Blue Chip. So this this frat? <laughs> this, this I don't frat. know if we will include this because this is something like really personal to my heart. But I somehow made it to the final round of Rush for this house. Somehow. And it was like a good house, okay? It's, oh, not, like, it's not like, oh my God, like of course the queer got into that house. <laughs> like... <laughs> I can't say that. It was really? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, we yeah. can believe that, but that's the house it was. Um, I wanted it more than anything in the entire world, and for somehow I made it to Blue Chip. No, but maybe it wasn't Blue Chip, or maybe it was when they were voting or something and uh-huh. was, like, vouching for you, and they were like, and he might be, like, blah, 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 and blah, 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 and he's, he's gay! gay! <laughs> And they all and I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm in. I'm in. I thought I was in. Like, it was the best week of my life until it wasn't, until I didn't get in, and I became Kappa Key Man. Yeah, period. Yeah, period. I became Kappa Key Man. Mm-hmm. So that was your worst birthday that I wasn't even a part of. I would say your best birthday for college, and I don't mean to put words in your mouth. but Probably I would say, senior year, right? Yeah, because you. It was. we went to Olivetta. We were yeah. cute. You looked so good. Your outfit was giving. It was cute. It was fun. That was a great birthday you had. Bouge. Honestly, like, I will go as so far to say, like, I loved your Chaconi's birthday. Sophomore year? Yeah. Yeah, that was that was a good one. Because that was just, like, squad. That was a good one. That was a good one. That was a great one. But then my 23rd birthday was the best birthday ever. Yeah, so anyway, we've made up for lost time because Julia's birthday post-grad has consistently been, like, the only thing we care about. Last year, we had two celebrations. We went to Winston House both times. Um, It was everything. It was, it was the everything. best weekend of the year. It was everything. It was and next so- year... My birthday's on a Friday. <gasps> mm-hmm. You're, wow, mm-hmm. that'll be fun. Mm-hmm. Oh, because it's a leap year this year. Mm-hmm. Leap, the more you leap know. Year. TMYK. The more you know. Yeah. One thing about Julia is she's always... Guessing G- the name. Yeah, GTN, guessing the name. She's always <laughs> guessing the name. Um, okay, well, should we get into the tell me what's wrong? Uh, sorry. We will not include that, but I needed to get it out. Sorry. Okay. That was monstrous. I'm a monster, so that checks out. <laughs> um, let's get into the tell me what's wrong. Before, so- first, BBC, blood bag cheers. Okay. Mm. <coughs> Anywho, so let's get into the tell me what's wrong. And some of these are birthday edition. Um, and you'll hear from the birthday queen herself on how she would handle that. Okay. Tell me what's wrong and happy birthday. Oh I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the cranberry just went down the wrong way. Woo! This one's a fucking doozy. We're starting them off strong. My two best friends forgot about my birthday and didn't text me until 10 p.m. that day. They ended our friendship because I didn't put in enough effort. Mm-mm. What would you do? Automatic no more friends. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. But she says they ended our friendship because I didn't put in enough oh, effort. Oh, so the no texting didn't come out of nowhere. Girl. I think we might need to have a little bit of self-realization here. This sounds like they are, like, plotting against her downfall. There's two parts to this for me, personally. Okay, talk about it. See, like, if my two best friends didn't wish me happy birthday, they would never be my friends again. Also, how would you ever consider them your best friends if they didn't wish you happy birthday until 10 p.m.? But then, like, maybe they didn't. I just can't even imagine. Maybe they didn't wish you a happy birthday because you guys had already been having issues about, like, you not putting in effort into the relationship. Okay, so maybe we're feeling like there's deeper stuff going on to this. Seems complex. Okay, I'm prescribing 13 going on 30. Wow. Okay, okay, okay. I can get behind that. Right, because, like, mm-hmm. don't they, like, ruin her birthday party or something? Um, what's another thing they could prescribe? Is Am I holding the mic wrong? No, I'm just MS, making sure. Um, TTT. I guess 13 going on 30. 13 going on. And I'm sorry about your friends. Um, they don't. I don't, I just have, I don't have context for this, but they sound really petty. I think even if you're fighting, that's so petty to not wish your ex-best friend a happy birthday. Agreed. You always wish someone a happy birthday. That's always. Like the rule of thumb. I like live, sleep, and breathe 
texting happy people birthdays. happy birthday. Yeah, it's you got to. Because like happy birthdays mean so much to me. Uh huh. Like I love being wished a happy birthday, especially when it's from. I mean, this really has nothing to do with the question at this point. But <laughs> I love being wished happy birthdays by people who like I don't talk to regularly. <laughs> Same. Like I would love to see someone's name pop up on my phone, and I'm like, ah. Right, Thank like you. you're thinking about me. And then like Tam. When, and then like Tam thinking about me. Yeah. Okay. Next. Okay. So I'm really sorry about your friends. They sound like they suck. And I didn't mean to be harsh, but like <laughs> get new ones. They sound horrible. <laughs> and like you should find solace in the fact that they're petty and like being losers for not wishing you a happy birthday at ten PM. For wishing you a happy birthday only at ten PM. <laughs> Literally my five one X wished me happy birthday on the wrong day. Like am I am I your ex? Five one X. <laughs> oh, like they're five one. Yeah, and they wish her happy birthday on the wrong day. Okay, I mean, yeah. Well, um, Peyton did that one. She wished someone happy birthday on the wrong day. She wished her ex a happy birthday on the wrong day. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I don't really know what to say to that one. That sucks, and you know what? He's your ex, so I feel like we don't need to unpack this in therapist. Maybe, maybe he did it on, or he or she did it on purpose. No, it doesn't sound. That sounds like a really stupid thing to do on purpose. Would you do that on purpose? Like probably. On the wrong day. Yeah. That like, means you're thinking about it. Yeah. On my twenty second birthday, my ex BF didn't plan anything or pay for anything. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. So I had to book a hotel for us. I'm gasped. This is already bad. This is disgusting. Mm -hmm. I had to book a hotel for us and use my mom's own credit card points for it. Because I'm poor, he was not. Oh, my God. Wait, 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 wait. That's disgusting. Oh, there's more. Okay, all right. Oh, Oh. When he showed, he didn't get me a birthday gift whatsoever and fully left the next morning early for a tux fitting he never mentioned he had. So not slay, but I still miss him. Girl, are you sure you guys were dating? <laughs> I don't mean to be a bitch, but who, what type of evil person would not book the hotel for their girlfriend's birthday, show up empty handed, and then leave early for a tux fitting that yeah. she didn't know about. Like, were you dating? Yeah, no, like, that's really, really bad. That's really bad. That's really bad. That's really bad. Also, like, booking a hotel, where were you? Where were they? Did they plan well, a trip? They probably planned a trip. Well, she probably planned the trip. Doesn't sound like he planned fucking shit. I mean, girl. She had to use her mom's own credit card points. That's so not cool. Your boyfriend sucks, and thank God he's your ex. And, but she says she still misses him. But, like, what do you miss about him? This sounds, like, un this sounds, sounds unmissable. Horrendous. This sounds unmissable. But like, Jake, wouldn't put it past us. I wouldn't put it past <laughs> us either. I really don't know what to prescribe to you. Maybe. Um, I'm uh, prescribing, ooh, let me think, let me think. A really good rom-com to like show you what like. Think hard. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thinking, thinking. Someone, um, like what's a movie about like genuine heartbreak where the guy was an asshole maybe legally blonde isn't or, her ex uh, that's an unbelievable prescription <laughs> unbelievable legally effing blonde yeah because her ex boyfriend or whatever sucks so hard uh, he's horrendous and she misses him until and she, she finds turns herself it right around and she starts thinking for herself and then she finds you know what's there for her so. yeah and she doesn't miss him anymore so we're gonna wow. prescribe to you legally blonde and the fact that you should have solace and the fact that, like, your ex sucks and, like, that's not normal behavior and that's not okay. And then. Oh, my God. We have a name. My name is Lily. Hi, Hi Lily. Lily. My birthday is the day before prom. I want to throw a party, but I'm worried. Oh, my God. I'm already obsessed with this one. I want to throw a party, but I'm worried no one will want to come because they have to fake tan or honestly just not be hungover the next morning. Do I even have a party? No. You should absolutely not have a party the night before prom. That is setting yourself up for absolute yeah, no failure. Will come. No and will I'm come. sorry your birthday is the day before prom, but you should Actually, if you had a birthday party a week after prom, like, everyone's going to be missing each other. Everyone's going to be upset. Everyone's going to run it back. Like, everyone's going to run it back. Like, I'm sorry. You're just going to Do not throw a birthday party absolutely the night before do prom. Not. Because, like, respectfully, and I mean this, like, with ADR, no one will come. I wouldn't come. I wouldn't want to go. And if it was I your am, birthday, I I'm, wouldn't go. I am going to really set a harsh truth for you here, and I'm saying this to help you. <laughs> If I was invited to a birthday party the night before prom, do you understand how much I would complain about going? 
I would not shut up about the fact. No. How could she have a birthday the b- night before prom? Yeah, no. How could she do up. that? You How could she up. do that? Definitely. Wouldn't you wouldn't shut up. shut up either. No one would shut up. Yeah, Everyone's no. going to be talking about. I'd be the- complaining. So have the birth. You know, have the birthday a week later. Some birthdays you're not going to be able to celebrate on your actual yeah. birthday. See, last year I celebrated my birthday twice. Twice. Because it was. In the middle of the week. Right. So we had the weekend before and, and the weekend, weekend after. after. And it was literally her best birthday yet. Yeah. So Lily, like, we're saving you here. Absolutely. Lily, Lily. No birthday. PP, prioritize prom. Mm-hmm. Do your birthday later. Birthday later. Absolutely. If you want to have fun and you want to smile, do not have your birthday yeah, the like, night before you're going to have a bad birthday. Sorry, you're gonna we're have really a ba- reaming in on Lily here, but, like, I really want this to, I mean, at this point, No, it's not. Prom does not happen in January. She's definitely thinking ahead. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah. Okay. We've calmed down a bit. (laughs) I just got heated because, like, I imagined having to go to a birthday party the night before prom. And, like, I'm not going to lie. I got upset. Same. But if it was your birthday, like, take it from your perspective. Would you want to have it the night before prom? I would have it a week later. No, I would do it a week later. Like, for me, I care more about, like... People What's in- actually going to happen at my birthday party than, like, the instant gratification of, like, I want my birthday party now. Okay. And here's how I'm going to tell you to make it better. And that's honestly, Lily, honestly, that's on maturity because mm-hmm. in high school, I would be having my birthday party the night before prom. And I wish that someone would tell me not to do that. Yeah. And we're telling you right now, do not do that. But you know what you should do? And and this is, this is your friends better show the fuck up. Absolutely have a dinner with your friends. Yeah, you sit can with have your friends and you have dinner. Prom. You fucking Even celebrate. If it's just like ordering in. Celebrate your birthday. You just don't need to have a like a rager the night before prom, yeah. and you can still have that rager a week later. Wow, Lily, we just got really passionate about your birthday. <laughs> and honestly, <laughs> if this is in June, I don't know where you live, but oh my god, let's go to the birthday. We will come to your birthday party, and you know what? I'm going to prescribe Project X, so you can see what a fun party really looks like. And let me assure you that Project X was not the night before their prom. My name is Friday. Hi, Hi Friday. Friday. And no one. Oh, my birthday. Hi, Friday. <laughs> <laughs> like, are you kidding me? <laughs> Holy oh. fuck. My birthday is Friday and no one treats it like you guys treat Julia's birthday. Is that not the nicest thing you've ever heard? Wow. What's his name? They don't. There's no name. Oh. So I'm just wondering how you guys decided to make Julia's a whole holiday because I live for it. Okay. Let's throw it back to the, the beginning. I The reason Julia's birthday is a whole holiday is because there's only a few things. Like, at, in our friend group, like, everyone's allowed to have, like, one thing. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. For me, it's like, I'm going to talk about myself. <laughs> um, For Peyton, it's like, don't annoy her. For Brett, it's like, she's going to go work out. And, like, you can't interfere with that. And you that. can't interfere with that. For Julia, her birthday matters. Mm-hmm. And that, I would say, is your only thing. Yeah. Your thing is, my birthday matters. I want to be celebrated. My birthday is important to me. Absolutely. Celebrate my birthday. That is how we made it a whole holiday because it really did suck so bad in college. We never did anything. It did suck bad. It sucked. And also, that- like, I grew up in New York and, like, it was always cold in the winter on my birthday. Ooh, underrated, but one of your greatest birthdays was, um, I wasn't even there for it, but it was just, like, kind of cunt and cute, was the one where you went to Cipriani and you got that cake. Oh, yeah, 21, 21. 21 was great, but, like, you should have done more, but you couldn't because COVID. <laughs> and Rush. Yeah. Virtual Car, Rush COVID VR. And Rush. <laughs> COVID Rush. Um, but, yeah, it's just because, like, I really love my birthday, and, like, I feel like ever since I was little, like, there was always a little bit of a downfall side, like, bad thing that happened on my birthday. Right. And so now it's, like, my friends really make it special for me. Also, but I will say to Julia's testament – she, before we made her birthday special, she was she was always planning something. Like, she planned something every year in mm-hmm. college. Like, mm-hmm. I am just, like... I mean, I'm not going to go a year without celebrating my birthday. Right. I am I refuse to plan, but, like, my birthday comes around Halloween, so everyone wants... Like, I just... I also... It's like... Uh, the, you have a good birthday. Yeah. I have an unwritten rule you know that, what, like, Jake? I'm not going to plan my own birthday. What? Yeah. And who plans it? Me. You. Every year. Um, After our four-month fight, she planned it. We should next year for your 25th. Oh, well, at one point we should throw a big Halloween party. Why have we never done <sighs> Maybe that Maybe I should do that next year. We're, de- we're deciding between a few things for my birthday next year. Sorry, back to your birthday. Look, and I know this is probably not what you want to hear, 
but you just got to tell your friends, like, it's my fucking birthday. I want to go out all weekend, and you need to plan something or for yourself. Or get new friends. Because oh. okay. if your friends don't want to ride or die for, like, something that really matters to you, then, like, get new friends. But are they knowing how much it matters to her? Then speak up. I'm going to prescribe to you Last Friday Night, the song by Katy Perry, because your birthday's on a Friday, and I think if you listen to it, it'll get you a little bit more excited. Also, you won't have another Friday birthday for, like, the next right. seven years. So listen to Last Friday Night by Katy Perry and Birthday by Katy Perry. And just know that your birthday is on Friday and this won't happen for another few years and you should just soak it up and make it fun and your friends will have fun because I have faith that your friends will make this fun for you. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> my friend tried to hook up with the boy I've been in love with for five years in front of me at my birthday party. Please repeat. What? Please repeat. Julia. I'm like, I don't even... What Please. did you pick up? I didn't pick up anything. Anything. Something about a boy hooking up with someone. My friend my friend tried to hook up with the boy I've been in love with for five years in front of me at my birthday party. Holy fuck. I killed them. I mean, that's automatic no friendship for me. Yeah, you, there's no coming back from that. Yeah. Um, I mean, that's like betrayal. And you know what I'm going to prescribe right there? What? Girls. Why? Because Jessa? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Tell mm -hmm. us why. Tell us why you're prescribing girls. Because. Um, quick spoiler alert if you're going to watch girls. Yes, we're spoiling. Skip, skip, skip. Skip like a minute. We're just going to talk about this for a minute. But I'm just giving you a spoiler alert because I would want someone to do that for me. Okay, so basically the main character, Hannah, has this like on and off like main love interest throughout the whole show. And her BFF bestie girl starts hooking up with him while Hannah's like in another state. At it's really school. fucked up. It's, it's a it's, it's heartbreaking. Really, no, it's really bad. It's, it's really awful. And to be completely honest, it just like shows the raw like truth of what it's like to have a friend betray you like that. I like don't because think you can get like, I, I think this friend isn't your friend anymore. Yeah. That's horrible. That's horrible. Uh, would you, Louise, I mean, be friends with someone if they did that to you? Never again. Yeah. That's unforgivable. I don't care how drunk you are. That's unforgivable. That just means you were thinking about it when you were sober. Mm -hmm. Damn. I'm going to prescribe. Okay, so you're prescribing girls. You know what I'm going to prescribe? Mean girls. Because remember the scene at the Halloween party where um, Regina hooks up with Aaron Samuels in front of Katie after? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Not the same. Girls is probably a better prescription, but right, right. Um, I'm also prescribing mean girls. Mm -hmm. I haven't spoken to my previous roommate since I had to end our friendship because she was a batshit crazy. <laughs> like, I can't even tell you how cray-cray. Like, she literally slapped my boyfriend in the face and called my mother fat to her face crazy. <laughs> Okay, oh, this is, this is a two-parter. However, this bitch texts me on my birthday, mind you, telling me that I'm better than this. She needs closure, and she wants to be friends again. Like, literally what? I'm better than what? Like, she, like, like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if she's saying that she was like, you're better, whatever. Regardless, this girl sounds fucking crazy. Um, Obviously, you know what I would say, and- I granted this already happened, but for those who it might happen to in the future, do not respond that day because it is your birthday. Mm -hmm. And then the next day I'd be like, we are not friends. You called my mom fat and you <laughs> slapped my boyfriend and the audacity for you to text me on my fucking birthday out of all days. I mean, I don't know what she said to you besides you're better than this. Like we're not really having. The yeah, we're not contacts. having contacts. But like, I think it's so powerful to like. Give people, like, show people that their actions don't add up to their words. So, like, respond and being like, your actions did not show me that this is a friendship that you cared about. So, like, we're not friends. Right. And that's that on that. Mm -hmm. And that's that. Mm -hmm. EOS. End of story. My brother, who caused me trauma and lifelong relationship <laughs> and attachment issues, had a child born on my birthday. <sighs> it's, like, so important to me who you share your birthday with. Like, and now she shares it with her brother who she hates his child. Yeah, like, fuck, I'd be pissed. Well, not only would I be pissed, also that child is going to get so much attention already because it's like the new baby oh in the family. Oh, my God. And now it's going to completely overshadow your birthday because it's their first birthday. That's my worst nightmare. Like, seriously and truly, like, I don't mean to sound shallow. That is my worst nightmare. Okay, what would you do? No, like, I'd freak out. If my brother had a kid on my birthday, like, ADR. I'd freak the fuck out. Well, That's I, my day. Also, like, you can schedule um, to, like, give birth yeah. on another day. Oh, I'd right? be pissed. 
Oh That's my god, I'd be cool. so pissed. Just another reason to hate your brother who gave you attachment issues. Like I, I love my brother, but I'd still be pissed. No, yeah, her brother's great. Her brother <laughs> has the same name as me. Hi, Jake. <laughs> <laughs> He's not gonna want that. Is he? Keep it. Okay. Um, I'm really sorry about your brother and his child. Um, but this is how you can. I would. What I would do personally, and like, I'd be pissed off about doing it, but I would not want to share that day with that baby. I would professionally change my birthday to a new day and have everyone celebrate my birthday on a new day. That doesn't even make sense. How would you change the day you came out your mom's pussy? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'd be like, attention all. My birthday is no longer January 10th. It's January 9th. And I'd one up them by having it the day before. You need to test loyalties in your family. Who is going to celebrate your birthday and who is going to celebrate And then what happens family? when they care about the baby more? You smear <laughs> I guess. What would you do? You'd smear. I mean, I'd, I'd smear before I changed my birthday for sure. Yeah, damn. I'm really sorry about your brother and his baby. <sighs> Can't really prescribe anything for that besides um, a good time. I mean, yeah. Just like plan fun stuff, Agreed. I guess. Agreed. I went no contact. Okay, hold on. Oh, okay. We got a three-parter. I really got to pay attention. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. Actually. Mm-hmm. Do you want me to, like, take breaks with each part so you can, Break like, slow. gather your thoughts? I went no contact with one of my best friends from high school due to multiple instances, like, where she would gift me the albums of the artists I liked for my birthday, but then repost TikToks or, or okay, hate. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, are you not? Go, keep going. She went no contact with one of her best friends from high school because they would give her the albums of the artists that I liked, she liked for her birthday, but mm-hmm. then repost TikToks like of hate on the same singer that she like gifted the albums for. Okay, that's weird. Or continue to hang out and po- that's just that's weird. Or continue to hang out and post pictures with people who have spread rumors about my friends, but then turn around and talk bad about them when she's with us, or just not being a girl's girl. Okay, so she just sounds like she sucks. But she was a friend who had my back when I was going through a difficult time. And I feel guilty for not talking to her, even when I return to our hometown. Am I in the wrong for not wanting to reach out and connect with her anymore? Um, I don't think you're in the wrong as long as that is your, that is your prerogative. And like, you're not following the lead of your friends who also seem to not like her. Yeah, Because then that's me. But and I also, think, I truly think that sometimes people outgrow each other. And, like, sometimes it's for the best. Sometimes it's, like, a little bit sad. But, like, if there's nothing I hate more than a girl who isn't a girl's girl. I so understand. Like, but if that girl is, like, causing you, like, internal, like, issues and pain, like, I don't think it's wrong to, like, not want to be as close to her anymore. A hundred percent. But I, I think if you're feeling guilty, maybe a part of you feels like you owe her a conversation, which you should do on a one-on-one. Mm-hmm. Which, no matter how awkward, I just, I think, you should reach out Mm -hmm. as long as you're not going to, but it's just tough because I know she's probably thinking like all my friends are going to be like, why did you reach out to her? But like, that's so mean. And like, I hate that. I hate a pack mentality. I hate a pack mentality. And I just think you just somehow need to separate yourself from the pack. But did the question say that all the other friends don't like her too? Yeah. They were like, she talks about all my, it sounds like they had a group conversation about this girl. Cause like, she's like listing points. She's like, she, it sounds sounds very high school. It sounds like what happened to you. (laughs) <laughs> we, don't, we don't have to get into that <laughs> on this episode. But, yeah. Look, I've been there with friends and people turning against you. And it's not a good feeling when it happens to you. So, maybe this girl, like, I'm just feeling a little sympathetic for her. Like, look, she didn't murder your dog. Like, if you're feeling guilty about reaching out, maybe just say what's There's up. There's no harm in reaching out. There's no out. harm in reaching out. Unless, unless you have come you to the, to your own decision and you're like, I don't want to do this. But if you're fo- if you're feeling like you're following a pack mentality a bit, I would like sit with it on with yourself and think about what to do. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. Totally. And I'm going to prescribe to you the movie The Click so you can see what a pack mentality looks that. like. It's a great movie. Really? It's a great movie. You've never seen The Click? No. I'm going to prescribe that to you because it might make you look at – how you operate as a group of friends differently, even if you're not meaning to. Mm-hmm. Aligned. So that is it for the birthday edition, Tell Me What's Wrongs. And now, oh, oh. <laughs> oh. do 
you feel that? <laughs> no, like my things are in. My things are coming in. I think it's time we do some vampire themed, ghoul worthy, tell me what's wrongs. So first, let us sip our BBs. Cheers. Eyes. Eyes. Wow. Strawberry is really good. I mean, blood is so good. <laughs> okay. Okay, for the sake of this, how old are you turning on this birthday? 24. You've only been a vampire. Fuck. Um, <laughs> I'm not like my, my, almost my third century alive. Damn. I'm an oldie. You, she bit me, actually. <laughs> she bit me, you, you bitch. You drink my blood. Yeah, I do have a little bit of her blood in her, but let's go. Oh, my God, I'm your sire. Yeah, I, what the fuck does that mean? I like re- it like really like ha- I have a huge problem with the fact that you like didn't finish Vampire Diaries. It's like eight seasons. Yeah, and finish it. Well, I know what happens in the end now. <laughs> Damn, you guys showed the fuck <laughs> up. <laughs> my fake friend said she started sucking my ex's blood. That's not your friend anymore. Wow. That's foul. That's like really fucking personal. I would say like sharing blood. Just to, like, vampire, for the humans watching, like, that's equivalent to me, like, to having sex. And I think that's wrong. Yeah. If she, she's hooking up with your that's ex. That's, like, the most intimate thing you could possibly do, like, Ag- in our Agreed. Culture. Agreed. My things are coming in and they hurt so bad. Same. I oh. think I submitted that. No, you didn't. Um, Someone else did. <laughs> but you also did submit something <laughs> similar. If your things are coming in, I don't know how you dealt with it because you were bitten like three centuries ago. Mm-hmm. So they like, there wasn't a lot of modern mm-hmm. medicine. But for me, um, I mean, Tylenol. I take three Advil. Okay. And um, I take an edible. And usually that curbs. And then I usually like just pass out to add, and to make sure it's Advil PM and you'll pass out and be like kind of high. And then you'll wake up and your fangs will be in. But like the pain is worth it, girls. No, it's so like worth you it. Like, need your fans. vamp life is the only life, but I'm just saying, like, <laughs> to curb the pain, like, we live in a world where you can do that. Just don't take Oxy because I know some vampires who have gone down that path and it's not chill. Mm-mm. Damn, I cannot say that. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to, okay, well, Julia, I think you have some personal experience with this one. <laughs> I was trying to go vegetarian and only feed on animal blood, but I had a slip up. Fuck, you're pulling a stuff in. Yeah, and you're pulling a Julia because that happened to you, like, 40 years ago, if mm-hmm. you remember. Yeah, I tried to go veg 40 years ago, and then I got, like, super drunk one night, and it just, like, a human sounded, like, so good to me, and I just, like, couldn't resist, and, like, I relapsed. They survived, but she did relapse. I relapsed, and I was like, you know what? Like, everything in moderation. You should have human blood, but, like, in a blood bag, you know? Like, you should never be feeding off a from human's vein, neck. Not from the vein. Unless you're together in a relationship. Like, that's fine. Because that's a personal thing. No, yeah. But you should never um, bite, like, I don't know. I, I just, I know how hard it is. Like, I, we've all been there. But, like, be over FTV, eight. FTV, I know it so much better from the vein. Yeah. Ugh. But, like, sometimes you just got to be B and, like, you got to be okay And, like, it. the bunny, just take the bunny. Yeah, like, the bunny will do. Pretend you're a vamp. Is this a cry for help? Yes. Had blood in my teeth. (laughs) (laughs) Had blood in my teeth all day and no one told me. I can't see myself in the mirror. Need to bring toothbrush with you wherever you go. Mm -hmm. Because, like, you can't blend in in the real world if you have blood in your teeth. You're already so pale. Yeah, it's like. And you're already sparkling. (laughs) MCHB. My coffin hinge broke. (laughs) We'll go to Wayfair because they have some. Uh, yeah. I mean, I don't sleep in my coffin. I sleep in my bed, but, like, that would suck. <sighs> Can't find a good coffin. Go on. I love lovemycoffin.com. Or Facebook Marketplace for coffins. Holy fuck. We are so strange. Yeah. This is insane. The pussies are going to be, like, so fucking weirded out by us. It's fine. <laughs> is this funny? <laughs> or is this concerning? It's concerning. <laughs> okay. Jake, it's really concerning. I started my period today, and after seeing salt uh, burn. Skip. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't, I don't. No. I don't want to compel him to love me. I want him to love me for me. Okay. Um, I've been there. Yeah, I've also been there. And let me tell you something. <laughs> While all you might want to do is. <laughs> something funny. 
Go on, go on. All you might want to do is compel them. Like, it's almost like smoking artificial weed. Like, it's not the same. It won't feel like real love. Yeah. You will know that they only love you because you, you have told com- them you've to. compelled them to love you. It's not fulfilling. And no. also, what have we said about dating humans, you guys? Seriously. Like, it's there's such a fine line. There's such a fine line. Like, <laughs> enough. Seriously. Who do you think the Bonnie of our friend group is? PM. No, like, it's definitely more Kennedy. Wait, I didn't know people drink blood and salt burn. That's what a lot of people are writing in about. Oh, no way. Maybe because we're not cultured. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't seen salt burn. And you? No, never mind. Chipped my fang. Um, Go to Dr. Go to Dr. Alaric. Um. <laughs> <laughs> um, a lot of gas. in Mystic Falls if you run there and you like run fast it should only take you about four hours mm-hmm. yeah, but like definitely good. run a lark's good a lark's really good I got my teeth from him really yeah wow <laughs> Okay, so now that we've answered all your birthday related tell me what's wrongs and also your vampire related tell me what's wrongs Julia what did we learn today I learned that I'm really lucky because I have amazing friends. Good answer. And they make my birthday every year, SS, so special. Mm -hmm. And, like, whether it's a vampire birthday or a human birthday, like, it's just the people you surround yourself with. A hundred percent. And I think what I learned today, and I know this is a harsh truth. I learned Uh, Wait, can we backtrack for a second? I know what I'm pissed about. What? <gasps> I forgot. We were never therapists. What are you pissed about? I'm pissed about the fact that I didn't know what a golden birthday was when I was 10 years old. And so I didn't have a goal, like a proper golden birthday celebration. You know, I was about to shit on you for that. Yeah, no, because guess who's going to plan your golden birthday? Me. Oh, my God. My golden birthday hasn't happened yet. Yeah. Well, must be nice. It is. Fuck, and, that sucks. I'm sorry, right? Julia. Yeah, my- See, like, Julia's birthday was cursed, and that's why she deserves a good one. Mm-hmm. Anywho, so we learned today that birth you are you have good friends who are celebrating your birthday. I think what I learned is that your birthday is really only as special as you make it. And, like, you make it. You're like, my birthday is important to me. Yeah. And you were like, I will only surround myself with people who treat my birthday with the importance it deserves. Yeah, like, if you don't care about my birthday, Right. Out. Also, the second thing we learned is that you definitely should not have your birthday party the night before prom. Absolutely not. I'm sorry, Lily. I don't know why we got so angry about that. <laughs> but like, Lily, don't, don't do, do it. that. Don't do that. Seriously, because I, it's just we're like, just um, saving you. I like, mean, Lily, like, I want you to have a good birthday. And like, if anything, like now you'll be able to celebrate your birthday twice. And I want you to look good at prom. Yeah, like, do, why would you be? Why would you want to be hungover? I mean, I'm sorry. We won't like, Lily. If you want to talk on the side, like, hit us on the <laughs> side, like keyword birthday prom. Um, and we'll, we'll, we'll know we'll, who you are. Yeah, we'll chit chat, message her, because and she'll she'll flag it for me. She'll it'll go to she'll. But seriously, Lily, like, hit us up. <laughs> I'm dead serious. Like, I want to talk to you. Like, I would even Facetime. Yeah, I would Facetime. I you would Facetime. Sure. I would help plan, plan your, your birthday party. I would help plan if your birthday. If you birth- promise not to do it the night before. Prom. Yeah, but if you want to do that, message Julia and me in a group chat on Instagram. Keyword: Lily birthday prom. <laughs> Lily birthday prom. Hit Lily us up. Prom. We will FaceTime you and help you plan your birthday. <sighs> and that's also one of our prescriptions. Oh, I hear someone. The, the, it's like an earthquake arrived, except it's a birthquake. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> Who goes there? <laughs> <gasps> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Julia. Happy birthday to you. Are you one? Are you two? We'll be here forever. She's a vampire. Blow him out, girl. <laughs> Yay! Thank you for joining Bajulia's belated birthday extravaganza, even though it's not belated. And we will see you next week on Therapist. Bye, pussies. Hi, pussies. Put your tents up. Put your tents up. Tents up.